Hi everyone, this is Vikrant and this is the second video in Build My Portfolio series. So in this YouTube series, we are building our developer portfolio using Next.js, TypeScript and Tailwind. In this specific video, we'll be setting up Tailwind CSS in a Next.js project. If you've not seen my previous video, I highly recommend you to go and watch that video. But that is not a prerequisite. If you want to just continue from this video, you can do that too. So let's get started. This is what we have from our previous video. But for installing Tailwind, let's go to our browser and search for Tailwind CSS first. So this is the official website for Tailwind CSS. Let's go to its documentation. On the left hand side panel of the documentation, let's have a look at the installation section. Under integration guides, let's go for the Next.js integration guide. So this is the guide that will help us to integrate Tailwind CSS with our Next.js project. Okay, now let's follow these steps for installing Tailwind. We've already got a project set up, so we can skip this. Next, we are using a Next.js version 10. We can just check our package.json and confirm. Next. So uh, in our dependencies, we can see that we are, we are using next latest. So at the moment, this is uh, version 10. So we are all right. Since we are on Next.js version 10, we'll need to install these dependencies. And remember, these are dev dependencies. And there's another difference. We're using yarn, but over here, they're, they've given us the command for npm. So what we can do is we can just copy this much and go to our projects terminal i'm inside the folder where my project is and then we can just type yarn add and press enter so this command would install all those dependencies as dev dependencies we can also uh, have a look at a package.json and you can see that we now have tailwind and all the dependencies that tailwind requires now that we've installed Tailwind and its dependencies, let's move ahead. We can see that the next step is to npx tailwind init hyphen p. So this would basically generate your tailwind.config.js and postcss.config.js files. We'll talk about these files next, but first let's run this command in our own project. We can see that running this command added these two files. So first let's have a look at tailwind.config.js file. So this is basically our tailwind config file. This allows us to configure tailwind. So we can add dark mode. We can uh, control purging over here and uh, we can also extend our theme. We'll look at these things as we move ahead in our project series. The next file that it created was the postcss.config.js file. So this file is basically for uh, configuring your postcss plugins. And these two plugins come already uh, pre-configured. If you want to know more about uh, what plugins you can use, you can go to the documentation and follow this link or even this link over here. Next, let's configure purging CSS in our application. For those of you who don't know what purging is, Purging is basically removing all the uh, Tailwind classes that we have not used. So this basically allows us to reduce the size of a bundle while in production. And since the bundle size would be small, that would allow our application to load much faster. So for enabling purging, we can just copy this handy little snippet over here that the documentation provides us. We can copy this and paste it in our uh, tailwind.config.js file. We can just replace line number two with that. So what this would basically do is it would look into the pages directory and the components directory, and it would go through all the files that have these extensions in both pages and in components. And it would only keep the classes that have been used in all these files inside components and pages once again. And all the other uh, classes that have not been used would be stripped off. I would also like to mention that this purging happens only while in production. So there would be no effect whatsoever while you're in development mode. Now let's move ahead. 
let's close all these files because we, we won't need them now the next step is to import our tailwind css file into our underscore app dot tsx file so first of all we'll open the pages directory and we can see that right now we don't have a underscore app dot tsx file so we'll just create it now let's head over to the next js documentation and let's search for custom app for those of you who don't know what an underscore app.tsx file does so basically nextjs uses this uh, app.tsx component for initializing every page so this file is not a mandatory file but if you want to override or customize then in that case you need to create this file so for our use case we need to import the tailwind css file into the uh, underscore app.tsx that's why we'll be creating a custom underscore app.tsx file. So this is the basic structure of how it looks. And in the end we export it, but this is the, this is the JavaScript version and we are working with TypeScript. So we'll just scroll down and look for TypeScript. And this is what we're looking for. So we'll just copy this and paste it in our own underscore app.tsx file. We can get rid of the comments and now at the top we can import from tailwind css slash tailwind.css so now our tailwind uh, configuration should be complete let's start a server by typing yarn dev so this would start a server on localhost 3000 let's open it quickly while that is spinning up, let's go to our homepage route and write some Tailwind classes. Let's uh, let's make our hello world text red. Oh, my caps was on, but I think we can fix it quickly. And now we can see that our text is red and Tailwind is installed. So this concludes this video and if you guys have any doubts or any questions feel free to comment down in the comment section below or reach out to me on Twitter. I am at the rate Vikranbhat1022 on Twitter. Feel free to DM me or tag me anything. I'll be really happy to help you out. Thank you guys. See you in the next one.